Nizzy. And in this video, you guys, we got a little bit of the NBA free agency breakdown for you. Obviously, it's day one of NBA free agency. Just kicked off at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern time today, you guys. And holy cow, we had a slew of action going on so far early on here, you guys. Obviously, probably the biggest news for us Raptors fans out there is Kyle Lowry and a sign and trade to the Miami Heat. Obviously, there was talks of this stuff happening earlier on today and yesterday. So this is something we kind of thought was coming. We kind of seen this one happening. Um, we just wasn't sure what we were going to get back in return for him. Um, the contract's projected to be three years, $90 million, or around the $90 million range, uh, which is expected. Kyle Lowry said that's something that he wanted. Obviously, with Chris Paul having that good outing throughout the uh, <clears throat> the playoffs this year, it just goes to show other teams uh, the need for that uh, pivotal pivotal floor general point guard. Um, and obviously, Kyle Lowry is that exactly, and the Heat are needing a guy like that because Goran Dragic is just not a guy who can step up and be that number one option for you on a championship caliber team. Um, so this is a great pickup for Miami. Really sad to see this guy go, obviously, as a Toronto Raptor fan, you guys. He's been a staple for our organization for the last decade, pretty much. Um, brought us to seven straight years making the playoffs, and then obviously ending 2019 with a championship run with Kawhi Leonard as his running mate there. Um, definitely the greatest Raptor of all time, you guys. is going to go down in history as the greatest Raptor of all time. Maybe Scotty Barnes will have something to say about that. We'll have to see what happens with that kid, but he's got a bright future ahead. Um, but, man, going to miss Kyle Lowry. Appreciate everything he did for this organization, man. Outstanding talent. Outstanding grinder. The work ethic, the heart, the leadership. Um, just a heart and soul hustle guy. Um, you know, and one of the best point guards in the league for the last decade or so. Definitely going to be missing this guy. Hope he does well in Miami. Um, we'll have to see exactly, like I said, we're not 100% sure on the trade details yet. We haven't gotten word back. I know there was talks of us possibly getting Prince Achiwa, I believe his name is, and then Goran Dragic. I hope it's wrong. I hope they're wrong because I really don't want Dragic, you guys. I just really don't see the point in having him. Um, he's the same age as Kyle Lowry with less lesser of a skill set and costs, you know, around that $20 million per season. I just think he'd be a waste of cap space, uh, to be honest with you, especially with guys like Malachi Flink up and coming here. We really don't need another 35-year-old uh, point guard. We just got rid of one who was, in my opinion, better than him anyway. Um, so we'll have to see what those details come out, you guys. Some of the other news going on in the NBA. Uh, Lonzo Ball decides to go and do a sign and trade here with the Chicago Bulls. Still awaiting the trade details on that one as well. Haven't heard back um, the trade details on that either, but it's a four-year deal for $85 million. It's about $21.2 million per season. Um, this is a nice pickup for the for the Bulls. Obviously, Zach Levine was that kind of point guard, shooting guard role for them. One of their main guys on the team, but he's not a super great point guard. He's just one of those pure scoring guys. So they needed someone to facilitate, someone to be that floor general. Um, and Lonzo Ball's really stepped up his game in the last season or so. Um, had a pretty nice season with the Pelicans last year. Um, so, you know, he's going to have a team that has has trust in him being the primary ball handler, running the offense, getting his guys open, getting his guys involved. Um, his three-point shooting has improved as well. Um, so I think this is a good pickup for the Chicago, Chicago Bulls here. Obviously, they got Vucevic as well um, at the trade deadline last year. Give him an, a full season integrate within that offense and within that scheme that the Chicago Bulls are running. And I think that's a good pickup for them um, <clears throat> to have him, Vucevic, and then obviously Zach Levine. Those are three pretty nice players. Um, and not too crazy. 21 mil a season for Lonzo. Didn't break the bank crazy on that. Um, you know, got his value. You know, but they weren't paying something stupid like $25 million a season or something like that either. We'll have to see what Pelicans got in return in that trade. Like I said, we're still awaiting the details. Kind of similar to the Kyle Lowry sign and trade. They haven't really updated us with the trade details yet. Um, and then obviously you guys as Raptors fans here, this one hurts. This one kind of blindsided me a little bit. I kind of thought Jared Allen might stay, but I didn't think for that big of a contract. There's no damn way the Raptors probably would have been able to sign the guy to that big of a contract. I uh, ended up inking a five-year, $100 million extension with the Cavaliers for annual average of 20 mil per season. A little bit above what I think the uh, Raptors would have ended up paying. That's probably why they never even ended up offering him the deal because they knew the Cavs were just going to go and max him out there with the five-year extension. Um, but the Raptors come back instead and able to get uh, Gary Trent Jr. to an extension there with three years, $54 million, with an average around $18 million per season. A um, little bit more expensive than I would have liked to see as a Raptors fan. I was hoping he'd be closer to the, the $15 million, so it would have been like three-year 45. would have been a little better to me 
just to save us a little extra cap room to hopefully go and, and get a center out there still because we still have yet to address the center role. Um, but at the end of the day, we need a shooting guard, especially with losing Jalen Harris to the substance abuse policy. He got that one-year ban from the NBA. We were going to need somebody desperately at that shooting guard role. Um, and then obviously with Kyle Lowry leaving to Miami, this opens up Gary Trent Jr. to be your starting shooting guard alongside Fred Van Vliet at the point guard position. Um, you know, so he's going to get every opportunity to make the most of it uh, with the Raptors here. Obviously, we've seen in little spurts last year. A um, couple nice 30-point performances from him down the stretch after he got traded to us from Portland. Um, so this guy could be a breakout candidate for us this year. He's only 22 years old. Um, the guy looks primed and ready to roll. He wanted to be a Toronto Raptor. I would say he took a little bit of a discount to stay at the 18 mil per season clip. Um, he probably could have went and got 20 to 21, similar to Lonzo Ball numbers uh, somewhere else. Uh, took a little bit of a pay cut. Would have liked him to see, to see him take a little bit less, but nonetheless... Um, you know, happy to have him back for a few more seasons as a problem, most likely our starting shooting guard. Um, yeah, good on both ends of the floor as well. So good guy to have and just a pure shooter. We need that, you know, knockdown shooter who's not afraid to go create his own shots. So I think Gary Trent's a good addition to the team for the foreseeable future here. Another disappointing one, you guys, that I really was hoping the Raptors would have been able to acquire. Um, obviously not getting Jared Allen and then Kelly Olynyk ends up going and signing a three-year deal with the D Detroit Pistons. I believe it was three years, $37 million. Um, so not too crazy of a deal either. That's something I feel like we could have afforded. Um, obviously, maybe we just never had our eyes on him. Maybe he doesn't fit the Raptors system the way that uh, Masai Ujiri and Bobby Webster view it. Um, but nonetheless, you know, pretty good deal for Detroit, in my opinion. I think Kelly Olenek's a pretty good big man. Obviously, he can stretch the floor well. He can shoot that three-point shot nicely. I think he shot 39% from three last season, so not too bad for a center slash power forward style player. Uh, gets you good rebounds, can get you some assists, pretty good ball handler as well. So that's a nice pickup for Detroit. They're kind of rebuilding and retooling that team there. They're starting to look a little bit better, obviously, drafting Cade Cunningham as well at the first overall pick this year. Um, and then the last couple bit of news we got for today, you guys. Obviously, there's still more trades and things and uh, signings coming out uh, as we speak here. But the only one else I got left on the list here is Jimmy Butler and Duncan Robinson both extend. Uh, their contracts to stay in Miami. I believe Duncan Robinson was around five years, $90 million extension, so a pretty hefty extension for him. Um, and then Jimmy Butler is expected to sign a Supermax deal for around $184 million over four years or five years. Um, so they're locking up some of their key guys long-term here, obviously, and then bringing over Kyle Lowry. We're going to still have to see what happens, who we're getting back in that trade for the Toronto Raptors. Um, but nonetheless, it looks like that the uh, Miami Heat are really priming up for a good playoff push and a championship contention run here. Um, <clears throat> we'll have to see what else. I've, I've heard uh, Chris Paul also uh, is getting a four-year extension, you guys, for around $120 million. So he's going to be staying with the Phoenix Suns, apparently, for the next four years. Probably end out his career with them, obviously, being 36 years old already. Um, but yeah, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments section down below of all the trades and the uh, signings so far in the early hours of free agency here. Sucks to see Kyle Lowry go as a Raptors fan, but wish him all the best. Obviously the greatest Raptor of all time. Raptors also go ahead and extend Gary Trent Jr. another three years, 54 mil, you guys. So not too bad moves for the Raptors yet. We'll have to see what happens, like I said, in that sign and trade who we get back from Miami. Um, but anyways, guys, appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Go ahead and like this video if you so choose. Subscribe to the channel if you so choose. This is Nizzy with Nizzy Sports Chat.